What's up, Homestead homies? It's Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, and I'm Doug. Uh, we just finished up with the live show. Hope you, hopefully you guys uh, caught the live show uh, today. And I told you after I got done with that, I'd be out here uh, putting in the posts uh, for my lean-to, okay? This here is going to be a, um, a lean-to for our tools and stuff that we're gonna use in the greenhouse. So I don't need it as long as the greenhouse. So what I'll be doing is uh, I'm dividing up each section and then putting a post here and a post here, and that'll be a post there. Uh, and it also will help the building from racking this way. I don't have any problem with the building racking. Uh, this is north, so north and south, but east and west, uh, because we're using a foundational uh, method to put our posts on instead of putting them in the ground, you'll have a little bit of movement uh, east to west uh, especially in high winds and stuff like that so what I decided to do and what's been the plan is I'm gonna build the lean-to on this side of the building and then what I'll be doing is concrete these in these posts here and then just leave it a, an open end on each end but it'll have a roof and then it'll tie into this structure holding it in place from any winds or anything like that so I'm gonna get this uh, dug in when you dig in this kind of ground, because the ground's uh, thawing out, and it's uh, pretty nice digging right now, but they call this pie and cake. Because <laughs> uh, it's easy to do. So I'm gonna go down about three feet, which is well below our frost line here in the Midwest where I live. And uh, we're gonna get these posts put in, and we'll get them set. And then uh, the next video will be pretty much us uh, you know, starting to wrap the building with the Tough Tech panels. We'll be using Tough Tech panels uh, for the greenhouse on this application. So. It's a good time right now, 60 degrees out today. We've had some up and down weather, really cold. And then today, uh, today is a little cooler out. All right, so I'm down. I'm down about 18 inches right now. But you can see the ground is, uh, this is the topper, you know, the topper. This is the layer that's a little more on top. And this is where I'm getting to. So you can see the darkness and the moisture. Uh, this is darker, so that means it has more moisture, which means it's closer to the top. And then it kind of gives you an indication on how far down the moisture has reached. So I'm gonna get going on this. It won't take but a minute to get this hole put in 36 inches. And then I'll uh, start my next hole, get these posts in. How about that story of our cat Brutus? Did you guys see that? I'll leave the video right here. I'm trying to get the word out about that video because we used a holistic, all natural approach and uh, it has really worked out good, and um, you know we're really pleased with the results. And we're, we're confident in what we're talking about, but it's nice to see it actually happening. Also, I've got it about five feet out. So we have plenty of room to walk in and out. And then that way I can get a 10 foot board, cut it in half, and then use one board for my supports cut in half. So it'll stretch out my material a little more. 
instead of buying uh, maybe two eight footers or something like that. And it gets us plenty enough room to get in and out uh, with like a pull cart or something like that. my first post in, I got it plumbed, I got a line down, you know, just your standard issue stuff. I've showed you this stuff before. Um, I'm, I'm about eight feet from that edge, the south edge, that's going to be to the north edge, so I'll have an eight foot um, beam running across the top on the outside, and then that'll give me my supports for my roof, and then I'm buying uh, eight foot material, which is less expensive than say a 10 or a 12 foot material. Then what'll happen is, because I got these two posts in the middle of this building and they're gonna be quick readed in and the, it'll be tied in with the roof, that'll give me all the support I need uh, for the east to west sway. There is no sway from the north to south because I have these braces in all up and down this here and here. Uh, so there is no north and south sway. But you will get a little bit of rocking east to west. So this will take care of that. And then the building, uh, it will be totally structure sound. And uh, we'll have a nice little storage area for our garden wagon and uh, some hose, some small hose and uh, hand tools um, for our uh, potting stuff we're going to use. You know, our potting brick maker stuff that you use. I don't know the terminology right now because I'm not focused in on it. I'm focused in on building this. <laughs> So we'll get this done. Like I said, it's pie and cake. Uh, the ground's all unfrozen and it's crazy. I mean, we had uh, highs. I showed you that one video. Um, I'll link it right here. But I showed you that one video uh, where we were, we were outside uh, doing our chores. But I said 10 degrees, but it was more like four or five. Um, and then I just put 10 because by the time I got in and edited it and everything, it was 10 degrees. So I just put 10. Uh, we like to keep it real. Uh, but uh, then the lows at night were zero, minus two, minus three. And uh, yesterday the wind was blowing really bad um, and it was like 60 degrees outside, but you couldn't hardly do anything. I mean, uh, the buckets were flying, the tarps were flying, we had some cardboard flying, it was crazy. I was waiting for the cow to fly by. So today the wind calmed down quite a bit. So since it's all thawed out a little bit, I come out here and give a little sweat on and get this going. Because once I get these posts in, uh, just tying it into this building, then I can start wrapping it and then uh, showing you guys how I'm going to do my doors um, and all that stuff. I did get the last, I had just a couple beams uh, up here to put on the 20 footers. And when my boys were in town, uh, they helped me do that. So we got that part done. All right guys, so it's uh, it's getting dark on me, so I'm gonna wrap this video up. I got my post planted, everything's looking good. I wanted to give you guys a tip real quick if you're putting in posts uh, and you're using these hand diggers. Um, a lot of you guys are probably using augers and all that fancy equipment, uh, but you know, back here we do it 1800 style. We, <laughs> we're using these, these uh, hand diggers, uh, but I'm gonna give you guys a tip. Okay, now these, um, these actually uh, wooden handled diggers and they actually are uh, Sears Craftsman's, okay? And you can see right here, they have a tape measure on them. And then right here is your uh, 30 inch mark, okay? And then, uh, for, so from the tip of your digger to this point right here is 30 inches. So that way, you know, and all the marks are in between, you can tell how far it is you wanna go down uh, if you're building something. So you're into uh, the frost uh, area, below the frost line, okay? Now what I did was I put a notch, see that right there? I put a notch on my diggers at 36 because I like to dig my posts in about uh, three feet in because that's well below our frost line here where I live. 
and uh, that keeps you from pulling out your tape measure, constantly going into the hole, checking it out, putting your tape measure in, putting your tape measure in. It saves a lot of time. So I can just visually look down at this. I know when I'm 36 inches and I'm good to go. If you're using fiberglass handle diggers, all you have to do is take a black magic marker and you can uh, you know, mark your fiber, fiberglass handles uh, to the depths that are normal for you and your property. And if you're using an auger, um, you can actually uh, make a mark on those as well. So anyways, that just helps you guys out with uh, your work and staying consistent at it so you're not always grabbing the tape measure and shoving it down the hole and seeing where you're at. So that's your hot tip for today. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.